Hello guys, this is Flipchips and welcome to another Hyper Heroes video and this time, as you can see on the screen we have the new quests and uh, if you have noticed when you launch the game you will see the list of these quests and they are uh, the developers have placed it on the daily quest now basically if you top up for the day you will get these rewards now these are quite good uh, you get extra diamonds you get lots of money in game currency you get keys and you get energy However, uh, well, uh, these are, again, are dailies, so they refresh every day. So if you plan to buy 1500 diamonds a day, you will get, okay, can't use so basically the purpose of this video um, is not to really, you know, uh, try to downplay this, uh, these quests and undermine the developer's purpose for placing these quests here. Those aren't really quests. <laughs> I mean, quests, it's something that you do. But for them, it's something that you buy, so... Or that's probably an accomplishment. So, you throw a couple of dollars to the game and you get rewarded. That's good that this is again a pay-to-win game. And of course, uh, I'm not here to tell you what you can do with your money. Okay, I'm just here to tell you, just to remind you that you can buy diamonds in this game and that's fine if you have money to spare but of course <clears throat> if you plan to buy every day uh, and you're addicted to this game I would I'm here just to help you out okay and for the developers as well not to lose more people because um, our server is practically new almost new um, I mean there are only like nine new servers after our server and there are no more people joining our server I think um, our guild is losing members because of there are less active players now and there are new no new players coming in so again going back to the diamonds now as you can see, you can top up, and here are the packages. So as they say, if you purchase 1500 diamonds a day, you will get rewards. Now, um, so let's say, uh, let's take the middle ground. So I'm just here to show you the possibilities that could happen. Okay, again, if you want to buy, go ahead, uh, that's not a problem. I'm just trying to show you the results. Okay, nothing against the developers, this is a great game, but again, this is a, uh, these quests are for money. And top up bonus 4 so let's choose the top up bonus 2 so this is 500 diamonds a day if you purchase 500 diamonds today we will collect extra 300 diamonds 2 lobsters and I think, I think these are 3 soul stones so how much is 500 how much uh, to buy 500 diamonds so let's go to the top up 
500 diamonds is that's 479 HP. That's basically it's 10 bucks. That's 10 US dollars. So let's say you buy 10 US dollars a day for 15 days. That's $150. $150 for diamonds, which you spend in the game, and you get a digital character of power up skill of you know awakening of the relics runes and any everything else that you can buy with diamonds I mean that's $150 okay not not everyone has that kind of money to spare on a game triple-a games of course uh, it would be unfair to compare this one because this uh, these types of games most of them at least for energy based games they have the business model of microtransactions you know, this started a few years ago no, actually not a few years ago more than a couple of years ago I think it started in the times of Farmville yeah those Facebook games when they started uh, you get to buy some type of coin for real money and <laughs> in some games it's actually absurd um, you get to have extra turns in return for paying money that's just utterly stupid well you can just wait for the energy to fill up but if you are impatient so you're practically you're buying time well on the other hand time is irreplaceable now I have spent a few minutes with you and I can't take that few minutes back whatever the cost may be so I mean you can throw out money for time that's fine I mean that's your money I respect that and this is the game so I respect the developers so it's totally up to you so well basically that's it you know, you can so let's say okay <clears throat> let's say you want to complete all the all these four quests so that's 1500 diamonds of course I'm sure I'm sure the other Oh, well, I don't want to try it unless uh, someone would donate or 90km would donate a few a few dollars for me just to show you of course um, they can take it back if they want that, that's okay okay I'm just here to you know study the game so okay so 1500 diamonds 1500 diamonds costs well this is 1200 so this is 20 bucks plus to 50 so that's around 60 60 dollars let's say 60 dollars for well, let's say let's, let's do 1200 plus extra so let's say it's 20 dollars and you do this for 20 days that's 400 dollars you have paid $400 for a game that everybody else has and I have paid the, uh, just a small amount of course I've paid something just to for experiment purposes since I wanted to review this video of a few months back or a few weeks back so uh, again $400 for this game now if you on the other hand if you look at other games other types of games other types of games uh, AAA games 
say Grand Theft Auto, it would cost you like how much? 30, 40 dollars? Blizzard games, you can get them for 40 bucks, 50 dollars. And some packages are as low as 20 dollars. And and of course, there are still other games. But those that are one-time pay, and you get the game. You get to enjoy the entire game. Now, of course, uh, these games. Uh, the reason why they have microtransactions is they get updated most of the time. Unlike if you have other games, uh, a lot of them don't have updates. Uh, some ha do have to fix like bugs and add some stuff but uh, these types of games especially mobile games uh, they are built to be you know they evolve they add new quests just like this one they add new features new heroes they get updated so basically you're paying for a game that is not complete and right now, uh, the state of this game, uh, there are still bugs. There are still a lot of bugs in this game. Some from the guild, the co-op. So, well, that's just it. Uh, basically, this is not a rant. This is just an observation. So, you can do the quests if you'd like. It's up to you. I'm just telling you the cost that it will take. Well, I have seen people spend thousands of dollars for a game like this and I can't blame them, that's what they like so if it's uh, their extra money that's fine but if they're addicted to the game and they are, you know taking a chunk of their budget, daily budget, just to pay for this, uh, for any game, any, any game for that matter. Uh, you need to think twice, okay? So again, uh, I'd love to try it out, but of course um, I admit I don't have that money to spare to try everything out here. Uh, unless you can donate, but of course, um, I'm not asking, we just Again, an observation and an idea. Okay, so well, that's it. Those are the new quests. Um, they're basically top of quests. Okay, so again, have fun playing the game. Again, it's a pay to win game, but you are not required to pay. Uh, okay. You are not required to pay for anything in the game. But if you want, you can <clears throat> top up any amount you want support the developers but of course I have that's up to you okay again thanks for watching and that's it see you in the next video